Hi, this is Mark Bono with Cleveland.com. Welcome to another installment of Friday Night Sips. So we're trying something a little different this week. Uh, one thing is we're outside because it's so nice rather than being inside. But also, each week we we try a different beer. It's been it's Ohio made, Ohio breweries. But we've always stuck to craft craft beer. This week we're trying something a little bit different. We are doing an Ohio made beer, but it's it's a budget beer. We are going to try Little Kings. Now Little Kings is made in Cincinnati and it's a cream ale and it's got a, a, an interesting backstory. The legend has it it was started in 1958 at the famous Montgomery Inn ribs joint uh, in Cincinnati. If you've been down there they're famous for ribs. Uh, the ballpark in Cincinnati has a, has a stand there and it's, uh, it's pretty neat. But supposedly the beer cooler went out. People didn't want to pay full price for the, uh, the warm uh, beer for their beer and shots. They, got, they had short pours and, uh, and they got it at a discount so the the seven ounce bottle was uh, was born. It just went through some new packaging, but the seven ounce bottle uh, remains. So we're gonna give this a whirl. Now, cream ale, by the way, it's a screw on cap. Uh, cream ale is an interesting style. It's very distinctly American. Uh, it was started by American brewers in the 19th century as a way to compete against the German brewers who were making a lot of lagers. It's an ale, but it resembles a, a lager. It ferments kind of sort of like a, like a lager. And cream ales are not creamy, they're more crisp. Uh, this is about 5.5% alcohol, and it could be made with rice or corn or wheat. It doesn't have to be made with barley. It was kind of an alternative of the time. So it smells like a budget beer, but it's not really skunky like a lot of uh, budget beers can be. You know, it's refreshing. It's a nice change of pace. The hops are there, but then they kind of sort of fall off. Um, it's, it's what you'd have after, after cutting the lawn. It's, uh, it's kind of like revisiting an old friend, I, I guess you could say. Uh, it's 85 calories per bottle, by the way, so it's not incredibly over the top. Now, each week on Friday Night Sips, we offer a different charity that you can, uh, can give to if you're interested. This week's is Cornerstone of Hope. Dot org. Now they're based in Independence. They're an organization that, uh, that basically offers support for people who, who are seeking support after the death of a loved one. So I hope you consider, uh, consider donating. So uh, for Cleveland.com, this is Mark Bona saying cheers.